Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the hidden element on your range. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to disconnect power to the range. So either pull it far enough forward that we can access the plug at the back, or locate your electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. We're also going to need to pull that range up far enough that we can remove the access panel at the back as well. Now with access to the rear of the range, we're simply going to remove these two screws at the bottom of this lower access panel. And we'll just press down slightly on it and pull it away. We'll set that aside. And then we can disconnect the wire terminals to that bake element. And we'll inspect those terminals, look for any signs of arcing or corrosion or any damage. And if there is, you'll need to replace those terminals. Now we'll go to the front of the range where we can remove the oven bottom. So at the front of the range, we're gonna open up that door. And we'll just remove the racks. Now with the racks removed, we're next gonna remove two Phillips screws at the back of that oven bottom to remove that and we can access that element. Now with the screws removed, we're next just grasp the sides of that oven bottom, tilt it up at the back, and then just pull it slightly towards the back. That will disengage the lip at the front. And then we can lift it completely out. Now your replacement element may be slightly different than the original in that it may have this mounting bracket on the front where your original didn't, but there is a screw hole to line up with that. And there are also individual supports on either side. So just make sure that we have it positioned so that the terminals point upwards. We'll fit those through the opening in the back. Make sure they slide in easily and they're not catching on the insulation. Take one of those mounting screws and attach it at the back. And then we'll line up that screw in the front and reattach that. And now we're ready to put the oven bottom in. Now we'll just position that oven bottom, tuck the front end in under the lip at the front of the oven body, drop it down into place, make sure the screw holes line up, be sure to use those protective washers. Use caution that we don't over tighten these screws. If you tighten them too much, it will damage the porcelain and they could rust. Now, next, we'll reattach those wires to the element terminals. Now, it's important that they fit on there nice and tight. And if they're the least bit loose, just take a pair of lean nose pliers and gently crimp those. And now we're ready to put that access panel back on. We'll line that panel up so that the two holes for the mounting screws are at the bottom. Then we're gonna tuck the top end in Make sure it fits around the upper panel. And there are some locating feet on the side of that. Make sure they're firmly pressed into the back cabinet. Now with all four of those feet lined up, make sure you lift up slightly on that. It should tuck into the top panel and the screw hole should line up on the bottom. And now we're ready to 
go to the front of the range and we can put the racks back in. So we'll begin by opening up the door, position the racks where you prefer them. the oven up. We're ready to push it back into position, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.